Hello, I'm pleased to report our 2022 results, 2023 guidance and long-term outlook. The benefit of our top line business was again apparent over the last year. While inflation impacted the margin of many mining operations, our EBITDA margins actually expanded slightly and our business generated record profits. Our efforts on ESG continue to be well received. Most recently, we were awarded a Sustainalytics Global Top 50 rating given to the top 50 companies in their rating universe. We announced our 16th consecutive annual dividend increase this January. The six and a quarter percent increase takes our quarterly dividend to US 34 cents per share. Many of our largest investors have held the stock since IPO and they now realizing a 12% yield in Canadian dollars or almost 9% in US dollars. The renegotiation of the Cobre Panama concession contract and the ensuing production halt caused some sleepless nights over the last few months. It was a relief for all last week when first Quantum and the government reached agreement on a refreshed contract. We hope it moves swiftly through public consultation and parliamentary approval. Turning to outlook, for 2023, our precious metals geos are expected to be consistent with 2022, although total and diversified geos are expected to be lower as current energy prices are off from the highs of last year. We're looking forward to Cobra Panama reaching its expanded throughput capacity of 100 million ton per annum by year end, and also to initial contributions from three new gold mines during the year, Magino, Seguela, and Solaris Norte. Our five-year outlook shows ongoing growth in our business. This organic growth comes from both mine expansions and new mines. The most significant new additions during the period are expected from Tocantizinho, Vale's Southeastern Iron Ore System, and Hard Rock. We expect MWS will have reached its cap in 2024 and a step down in the Candelaria stream rate in 2027. Resource optionality continues to drive our business. Success at the drill bit provided one of our biggest annual increases in reserves from our underlying assets. The largest impacts were reserve increases at Detour Lake and Cascabel. We'll publish our attributable royalty ounces in our asset handbook in April. The global drive for electrification will be good for Franca Nevada. Along with a deep portfolio of royalties on gold exploration properties, we have royalties on what are likely some of the next generation of copper and nickel mines. Our business development team is seeing good opportunities for precious metal financings. In particular, financing of new gold mines. We expanded the scope of our financing package with the Toka Tizinho transaction with G Mining Ventures last year and are seeing good interest in similar structures. To wrap up, I'm proud of what our team achieved in 2022 and I'm confident in our prospects to continue Franco Nevada's remarkable track record. <laughs>